thing that happens as we get later into the season is farmers start thinking about the frost is coming. So what is the impact of frost on crops and everything growing on the farm? So we're going to talk about that during our farm basics today. Let's just start with this. We farm in the northern United States. We will get frost. It's going to be really cold really soon. So one of the things that we're always looking at is trying to plant varieties, whether it's corn or soybeans, that will finish early enough to beat the frost. The problem is if the frost comes too early before these crops are physically mature, then they don't have the same weight to them, they don't have the same yield, and so not only do we suffer because we have fewer bushels to haul to town, but the bushels we do haul are poor quality, so we get paid even less. So that's why we have tremendous incentive to always try to pick the right varieties that will finish in time. Now if you get it just right though, Brian, when the grain is completely mature, ready to go for harvest, but you still have a healthy plant with a green stalk. Frost could be your friend. You could kill off some of those green stalks and make the harvest process just a little bit easier. So some farmers really like it for that. The other thing that farmers may want a frost for out in those fields is maybe they've got some weeds that popped up really late in the season and they are very lush and green and they're going to be difficult to cut through. Well, that frost may kill some of those annual weeds off and that could be a good thing too. Yeah, it definitely is. We, I, I, I'm going to say like farming in this area of the country because of the frost in part, because not only does it help control some of these weeds, so we don't have near the weed problem that a farmer in the extreme southern United States would have, but we also don't have the diseases, the insects, and even to some degree a little bit of the compaction problem that a farmer might have where he doesn't have frost that goes in that ground. So when we talk about frost on our farm, we're usually worried about harvest and the crop and everything else. But I, I also want to think about the deep freeze that absolutely impacts that soil going way down in killing a lot of the harmful things for us and also helping just a little bit to solve our compaction problem. Well, and there's there's several things with that. First of all, the bugs, Brian, I want to mention that because if mosquitoes are bad and those types of things, a frost is welcome because you can wipe out a lot of bugs with a frost. I, I like that a lot. Uh, and, and the big six month plus break we get with no insects outside, that's wonderful for me. But the other thing you mentioned there was the soil. And I think about this, sometimes it's too wet at harvest time and farmers are having a tough time getting through the field without rutting it up and making a mess. But if we get freezing weather, so not the first frost, but as it does get colder, that does allow farmers to float equipment through the field very easily because the ground is hard. Well, once again, the impact of frost can be positive or negative, depending on how you want to look at this thing. And yes, some days it does get a little frustrating for us when it's the middle of the winter and it's about 30 below zero, but we always have to have the hope that we're going to have a great crop next year in part because that frost that does go way down deep into the ground is killing off a lot of the things that could negatively impact our crop, like weeds, insects and diseases. Well, one weed that frost can certainly kill is our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to stop it during the season coming up later in the show.